Very broadly, I study star formation. So I want to know how these really large molecular clouds in the universe kind of collapse down into stars. So when they're going through this like collapsing period, they're forming all of these really cool structures in the clouds, like supersonic shocks, so like really shh, shh, and, um, and also these striations also form in the clouds um, from these really strong magnetic fields. So essentially I study these structures and try to work out, you know, how can we know the star forming properties of the cloud based upon these structures. It's pretty much only with like the resources at NCI that we can create really high resolution, large simulations run on thousands of compute cores to really resolve these structures, to actually be able to see them with our simulations. We are constantly trying to compare observations with our simulations. So it is actually a really hard problem. So we normally um, rely on like statistics. So essentially even the analysis that we do on both our simulations and uh, the molecular cloud data, the, the star forming clouds that we see in the universe, relies on doing tons and tons of statistics on 3D models um, in the simulations and 2D models in, for the actual molecular cloud data. So we have to try to compare these and um, the way to compare these is actually from all this stuff on the back. So I also work on like, how can we compare statistics from projections of things to 3D things as well. As the compute uh, power has has gone up and has become more available to astronomers, we've been able, we've been able to add more and more realistic physics to our models.